you guys, it's Ashling. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be decluttering my bronzers. I am so excited to be decluttering bronzers. I've had these hanging around for a long time. I know they're powder products, but I still don't want to be keeping powder products for years and years and years. And I have so many of them, it's time to donate them or bin the ones that are gone by their sell-by date. I am gonna donate them to my cousins, friends. Every single time I do a declutter video, my subscribers are like, oh, please send these to me. And for obvious reasons, I don't wanna be sending out used makeup products in the post for a lot of, you know, obviously COVID aside, I just don't think it's sanitary. Donating to family and friends is a little bit more different. I do sanitize every single product I give out, obviously. And usually I only give everything out when I've done like a big haul of decluttering. It's not like dribs and drabs day, day to day. I will wait till I have a lot of things to declutter. I hope you guys are interested in declutter videos. I love them. I personally really think they're great. And I think they're gonna be something I do for the rest of my life. Cause I find the more I declutter, <laughs> then I replace. So it is a working progress, but I definitely have gotten better over the last year of decluttering. If you're interested in watching me declutter my bronzers, then just keep on watching. So this is gonna be <laughs> the most difficult video that I've had to film so far of this declutter series because every single one of these has a hold on me. Like I cannot express how much I love my bronzers, hence why I have so many of them. Please bear with me if I can't declutter 50% of this like I did with my palettes, but I am gonna try and declutter as much as I possibly can because I do realize that they are just bronzers. Nobody needs this many for one face. It's ridiculous, but I do love these bronzers so much and I'm so sad about this but it needs to be done. I'm gonna focus on the little bronzers first and then we're gonna talk a little bit about the palettes afterwards. And I'm gonna try and swatch as many, if not all of these bronzers. So you're in for a treat. So I have a bin for any of the bronzers that are well and truly gone. So I'm gonna start with the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. This is in the Sun Bronze number 22. I haven't used this in a long, 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 long time, but as you can see, it's one of my favorites. So that is a swatch of it there. It's kind of a ready bronzer. It's not my cup of tea anymore, so I'm going to bin that. Next up, I have this Elizabeth Arden bronzer. This kind of had like a gold overlay on it. It's quite a dark bronzer and I'm done with this bronzer also because it's just extremely old. I got this when I first started working in the pharmacy, which was in 2012, 2013. So yeah, it's well and truly expired <laughs> and it's time for it to go. There's just a quick swatch of it as well, just in case you're wondering what it did look like. It's called the Sun Goddess Bronzer in Deep. Next up, I have the Elf Duo, but it's just like a cult classic and I think everybody had this at one stage. I'm actually gonna bin this because I think I've had it for longer than I care to remember. I'll just swatch the blush side for you as well. They are actually really nice duo. Ah, uh, no, even enough bronzers. It is more of a cool tone bronzer. It is really pretty. I'm sad to see this go, but it has to. Bye bye. This is my favorite bronzer. I've had it for so long. It's the Chocolate Soleil. I got this sent out in PR. That's why I have a ton of these Too Faced bronzers. I think I have almost all of them. And this is the original Chocolate Soleil. I will be hanging on to this. I definitely have it over three years. I don't care. <laughs> I still love it. And um, it's one of my favorite bronzers. It's just really nice on my skin tone too. There's just a little swatch of it. You probably can't even see it with uh, my tan, which is coming off and it needs to be exfoliated, but you can kind of see it there. It's just a really nice, rich, chocolatey colour and it's just the most perfect bronzer for my skin. I absolutely love it, so I will be keeping this. Another Elizabeth Arden bronzer here. This is a loose bronzer in the shade Medium and I never liked this bronzer. It's too messy, as you can see. You have to twist it and it kind of like breaks off the product and then you can kind of apply it to your skin. I never really, really liked it. That's yeah. the colour of it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay, so next up we're gonna talk about these butter bronzers. I have the original here, and then this is the dark one. Yeah, so this one's the deep one, and this one is just the regular one. I prefer the deep one. It just comes off way nicer on my skin. The only issue I have with this actually is that I broke it, obviously during like moving and stuff like that. I think it's pretty obvious to see which one's the dark and which one is the light one. Um, the dark just works way better on my complexion. I just love it so much. 
much, uh, hence why I'm holding on to it. I have two Essence Sun Club matte bronzers. I'm not gonna keep both of these. This one's in old packaging, this one's in new packaging. This one is more for lighter skin, while this one is for darker skin. These are both amazing quality bronzers. I absolutely love them. I love all the Essence bronzers. I love Essence as a whole. I just think it's a great brand. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I think I'll donate it to my little cousins. They have much fairer skin than I do, so this will be perfect for them. And I'm gonna hold on to my dark one. I like having that in my collection. I just love that bronzer. After swatching both of them, you can see they're not really that dissimilar. This is the dark one, this is the light one. It is a little bit more of a powdery bronzer. It's really, really smooth, really easy to build up, and it looks lovely on the skin. I have three Good To Glow bronzers from Poundland or Deals, as it's known here in Ireland. I have two mattes and one bronze. I'm gonna swatch these for you guys. I'm gonna hang on to a matte and a bronze. These may only be 149 or a pound in the UK, but they are absolutely amazing bronzers and I really 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 like them hence why I've obviously doubled up on the matte one but I don't need two of them so I'm going to give one away to my little cousins or Jenna I'll decide because I actually think Jenna's skin's a little bit deeper than my cousin so she might benefit from it a bit more but I will swatch them for you guys they're unreal and definitely hanging on to them I can't recommend them enough so this one is the shimmery one this one's the matte one they are just such good bronzers and I cannot believe they're only one euro and 49 cent like I mean you cannot beat them this reminds me a lot of Mac give me sun and I don't have a Mac Give Me Sun here actually at the moment because it's over in Patty's house so I wouldn't be decluttering that anyway but it's my favourite bronzer of all time but this is super similar to it, it kind of has like that shimmery kind of glowy undertone to it and this one's just a straight up matte it's not orange and it just it's more of like a caramel colour I love it so I'm hanging on to both of them and donating that extra one that I had I'm going to talk about these two Essence bronzers they're the last kind of round bronzers I have from Essence and I actually have no idea what this one is like. This one I only got sent in pure. It's actually so lovely. However, I do think I am going to donate it to my little cousins just because it is a little bit lighter for me and I did try it in a video the other day and it just it kind of didn't really show up on my skin it is gorgeous it smells lovely but like I just said it's not really my color so it does come in a deeper shade I obviously don't need to pick up any other bronzers but just in case you wanted to try this and you've kind of a little bit more of like a medium skin tone I recommend the darker one but I'll just watch both of these for you guys this luminous one like I said, I just can't remember if I like this or not. Okay, so this is the Luminous Bronzer in the shade Dark. And then this one is the Hello Good Stuff Bronzer in Coco Cool. So you can see that Coco Cool is way too light on me. It's almost like a powder on my hand. I'm really surprised at this, this Luminous Bronzer. I didn't know or have any expectations on it because I actually can't remember what I think of it. But it is so nice. And it was really, really smooth to apply. So I'm going to hang on to this and donate that one move on to my hula bronzers i obviously have the light the original and the caramel here caramel is my all-time favorite i've been 100 hanging on to this and i do love the original so i'll keep one of them i don't need two i'll donate another and the light is just too light for my skin so i'm gonna donate that one this is the caramel one original hula and then this is the light one so the original hula has more of like a cocoa undertone the caramel one has more of a warmer undertone so i'll give you a swatch this is caramel original hula and then this is the light you can barely even see it on my hand these two are just so amazing hula like i said is kind of more of a hot chocolate kind of coolie undertone to it and this one's a lot warmer as you can see the only downside is the packaging i can't stand it i hate the box i wish it was in like a pan move on to these three rimmel palettes these are from the Kate Moss collection. I don't even know if they still make these. When I went over to London about three years ago, I was working with Rimmel at the time. I just got these when I was over there, so that's why I have all three. I'm not obsessed with like contour palettes. <laughs> I have no idea how I feel about any of these because I haven't used them in so, so long. So I hope you guys can make it the bronzers a bit better there. This is obviously a lighter one, and then this is a deep one, the one in the middle, and this one's kind of more of a cool light one this is a warmer light one so i hope you can see that the first one here is golden sands coral glow and then golden bronze and i remember what the issue was with these and why i hung on to all three i liked the highlight and the blusher in this one i liked the bronzer in this one and i think it was the highlight that i liked in this one which is very 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 pale now it's very hard to even see and I've run my fingers through these quite a lot. So I'm going to donate for a million percent golden sands. I like the bronzer in this one. So I don't know about these two. I think I'm going to hang on to them for now. If I'm still 
doing declutters like of my bronzers in the next six months like I'll probably revisit it and if they're still in this collection and I haven't touched them then I'll get rid of them then but this one for now has to go. I have another Elizabeth Arden bronzer here this is very old as well this is in deep glow it's the summer escape bronzing powder I loved this bronzer when I first got it it's so pretty. I do pick this up actually quite often believe it or not it is such a pretty bronzer. It's different to anything I have in my collection, so I'm gonna hold on to it for just a little bit. If I do come across something that looks similar to it, I'll get rid of it, but I just really like the undertone to it. It just blends really well in the skin. I know it's old, but I don't know, I still love it. I have three of these bronzers from Wet n Wild. I think this was from the Dragon collection or Fire and Ice collection. And then these other two are Wash Shady Beaches and Sunset Strip Tees. They're not even open. Like I've never even used these, so I'm not even gonna open them. I'm just gonna donate them. Obviously this is the You're Dragging Me Down bronzer. I loved this bronzer for so long. I cannot stress how much I loved it. It's such a pretty bronzer. It was just a really nice kind of caramel color. I might hang on to that one. If I come across something that I think looks similar, I'll get rid of it. I did intend on doing a whole one brown tutorial on Miss Lynn, bought loads of products and completely forgot all about them and I lost them in like either a move or maybe I just donated them all but this is the only thing I have kind of left from the Miss Lynn and it's actually one of the nicest bronzers ever it's called Beach Please it's in Barbados Bay but these bronzers are so good I think you get them off Beauty Bay they're really inexpensive I just really love this bronzer I really like the color of it and just how it blends so I'll be hanging on to this if you're an OG subscriber of mine you will know my love for the bourgeois part Paris. This is the Poudre Bronzant powder or just the chocolate bronzing powder. It was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite products. But they reformulated the product itself and it became so difficult to use. Like you can even see there, like I've like scratched the living life out of it. It was so hard to actually pick up any product. But it's just streaky now. It's not good at all. I think I purchased this one maybe like two years ago. So I'm going to get rid of it and I'm very sad about that but it just, I don't know, it's just not what it used to be. This is a MAC bronzer from some collection, I don't know, it was sent to me in Pure. It is the Pearl Matte Face Powder, Oh My Passion and it's such a gorgeous packaging, like you, you can not deny that the packaging is not gorgeous. I don't ever think I've used this. <laughs> It's not my cup of tea. I don't like all these kind of like different colors. Actually, now I'm swatching this. I'm like, oh my God, that's so pretty. I think it's actually a beauty powder. Do you remember them? It's not a bronzer at all. It just looks like a bronzer. I don't know. That's really pretty. We'll see. If I don't use it, it'll be gone. But I'm going to hang on to it for now. Wow, that was like a little hidden gem. I thought that was a bronzer. Packaging on this is looking fairly grubby. This is the Nards Laguna bronzer. It is my favorite bronzer ever. I've hit pan on it. You can see that. Um, I still use this, obviously. Um, this one's not even that old. I want to say it's about a year and a half old, which I know some of you watching are probably like, wait, that's really old. But for me to hit, bron hit bronzer, for me to hit pan on a bronzer after a year and a half uh, with all the ones that I have in my collection, I must love it. It is just the most gorgeous bronzer ever. It's kind of like a sheen to it almost. Like you cannot deny that's such a gorgeous bronzer. There's nothing I've ever tried like it. It's just so pretty on the skin. It's not matte, it's not shimmery, it just kind of has a glow and it just gives your skin a glow. So I'm going to obviously hang on to it, I've hit pan in it, what is the point of just throwing it out just for the sake of it when I'm still using it, so I will be keeping that one. Next up I have a sleek bronzer highlight duo which looks like this, really gorgeous powder, these are really really good. I don't know, I never hear anyone talk about sleek anymore and I never use sleek myself. I don't think there's much point in me hanging on to this just for the simple fact that I don't reach for it. And what is the point of just hanging on to 10,000 bronzers? You can kind of see the colors there, they are super pretty. And the highlight is really, really stunning. I just don't need another one of these products. I have so many things in my collection. Talk about these two bronzers, they're both from Catrice. You can see that this one is very well loved. And this one is the Shimmering Glow Bronzer. This is in the Medium Bronze and this is in Shimmer Bronze. I'm nearly 100% sure you can still get these. I recommend this one all of the time. I think I'm gonna donate this one just because I haven't picked it up in ages. That is the Shimmery Bronzer and that's the Medium one. You can see why the Medium one is probably my favorite one because of just the shade of it. It's just so pretty and it's gorgeous on the skin. It just looks really nice. 
it's really easy to blend it's probably one of the best drugstore bronzers i think i've ever used i know that's a bit of a stretch but it is it's just such a gorgeous bronzer and i just i can't deny how much i love it next up i have another mac bronzer this is from the ellie golden collection i absolutely love ellie golding massive fan of her and it's called i'll hold my breath that's why I picked this up, oops, because I love her, but have I dipped into this bronzer? Absolutely not. And I'm definitely certain that I have something like that in my collection. It is really, 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 really pale. It's just not really that great. Like it's quite blotchy, maybe. It just kind of blends away into nothing. So I think I will hang on to that for a back to Mac, but I'm getting rid of it out of my collection, if that makes sense. But the Mac bronzer that I will be keeping is from the Caitlyn Jenner collection, and it looks like that on the inside. This is in the shade Compassion, and I've had this since obviously the Caitlyn Jenner collection came out. It's one of my most used bronzers in my entire collection, bar the NARS one. I absolutely love this. Oh, and the chocolate bronzer from Too Faced. It is such a unique, gorgeous bronzer. I've never found anything like it. I've never found a dupe for it. It's just so pretty. You guys probably think it looks like everything else I have in my collection, but it doesn't. It is just so pretty. I cannot stress how much I love it. It's so unfortunate it's limited edition, but I mean, I'm never gonna reach pan on it. I will keep this until it starts to smell funny. I don't care if it's expired. I just love it so much. This little bronzer is from the Natural Collection. I was actually quite surprised with this one because I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. It's such a pretty bronzer. I'll just swatch it. I still have that Caitlyn Jenner one there, but I'll just swatch it kind of beside it. It's obviously a little bit more chunkier, but it's really pretty. It's a little bit more cool tone than the Caitlyn Jenner one, but this shows up really well on my skin. I think this only costs like two euro, maybe three euro. And I only got it maybe about a year ago, so I'm gonna hang on to it. I know I'm hanging on to an awful lot of bronzers. They have a huge amount of a hold on me, guys. If you've watched me for a long time, you know how much I'm obsessed with bronzers. So any single thing I get rid of is just a bit of progress. So I'm gonna hang on to this one. So if you guys have watched my channel for a little bit of time, you would have seen me do an Aldi one brand tutorial and they have brought out their own makeup line it's not in stores very often it's a special buy so usually it comes in once a year but when it did come in the bronzers the highlights and all the stuff in it were just unbelievable i couldn't believe the quality of them it's supposed to be in similar packaging to the hula bronzer so i'm going to swatch hula and this and see if they're similar but i will be hanging on to this because i intend on doing another aldi one brand tutorial it's a little bit more powdery than the hula bronzer but it is a gorgeous shade it's really really nice it's quite cool and it's not too sheer Okay, so this is the bronzer from Aldi and this is Hoola. Are they not like completely and utterly identical? They're so similar. It's probably not showing up as well on camera as it is in real life, but they are exactly the same color. The Liqueur one has a tiny bit more of a shimmer to it, whereas Hoola is dead matte. Like there's no shimmer, no sheen or anything. But this one has like a slight kind of radiance to it. I just can't believe how identical they are. So I will hang on to this one because I want to do like maybe half Aldi and then their dupes or something like that. I'm going to keep an eye out for when Aldi releases their makeup again. So I have these Wet n Wild contour palettes. I have this one in Caramel Toffee and this one in either Dulce de Leche or Dulce de Leche. These are really, really great quality for the price. I actually really like them. This one is the one I kind of reach for a little bit more often because I prefer this shade and bronzer they're just more suitable for my skin tone if you have deeper skin tone the banana shade and the dark bronzer is a much more suitable one so i'm going to get rid of this one but i'm going to hang on to this one caramel toffee and this is dulce de leche and you can see that this one is just a little bit of a lighter undertone in the bronzer i prefer it because it's just easier to work with whereas this one can come across quite strong like i said this is much better for deeper skin tones and this one's kind of like medium to light because it's a buildable bronzer. So I'm gonna keep this one, donate that one. This is a Penny's bronzer. I have no idea what I think of this because it's been a hot minute since I've used any Penny's makeup, but I feel like this was okay. It's a very dark shade actually, to be fair. It's kind of cool toned as well. I really want to do another Penny's one brand tutorial. So there is no point in throwing this out and then going to Penny's and picking up another bronzer. So I'm just gonna hang on to that for that tutorial. I know you guys have probably seen this in action before, but I think it's good to kind of see what it's like again. And I mean, it was three euros, so 
I'll just hang on to it for now. Revolution Vivid Bake Bronzer in the shade Rock On World. I don't think they make this anymore. This was super affordable and I wore this to death for about a solid two years. <laughs> it was such a unique bronzer. It's kind of like a gold bronzer. You can see that there. There's nothing I own like it. I've never used a bronzer like it. I've never even seen a bronzer like it. It's so unique and they don't make it anymore. I still love it. I still use it. I'm not just going to donate it for the sake of it. This will remain in my collection. The Hollywood Bronze and Glow. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury or kind of like a play on it. I wouldn't say it was an exactly a dupe but this is the bronzer and this is the highlight. I used it in a video and then I kind of forgot about it. So that's what it looks like. This is very pale. Like I... I don't even think that would even show up on my face so there is no point in kind of keeping like a really pale bronzer like that. I know an awful lot of people say oh we can build them up and it's supposed to be a subtle kind of bronzer but I have enough subtle bronzers as you can see in my collection there's no need to kind of keep this one. This is a MAC Skin Finish in Natural. This is in the shade Dark. It's in really old packaging that will tell you how long I've had it. I have hit pan on it. There's only a little bit left so I might actually try and use this up this month. Well, maybe not this month, but like in the next couple of months and just get rid of it because what is the point of like donating it or hanging on to it for the sake of it? It's quite a warm bronzer, like it's really, really warm toned. It's almost on the caramel shade, but um, maybe I'll just try and use it. If I'm finding that I'm struggling to use it up, then I'll just back to mac it, but I'm going to just give it my all and see can I use it up. Prime and Fine Contour Palette from Catrice. I loved this so much, but how many of these jewels have I had in my collection? And we've even seen them all today that I've decluttered. There's so many of them. I have similar shades of bronzers. It is a lovely kind of highlight for underneath the eye, you know, to set the under eye. It is great. It's a lovely product. But again, I have so many bronzers. I have so many ones that are similar to this. I think I'll give it to another home. Oh, I just found this one. I have one little tiny Bare Minerals bronzer. This is in the shade Warmth. I don't think I've ever used this, so I might hang on to that for a while and see what I actually think of it on the skin because I've never used it. And that's it there. It's quite a nice little bronzer. It's like a warm toned, warm undertone bronzer. Again, I've never used it, so maybe I'll hang on to it. I want to do a full face of Bare Minerals tutorial for you guys, so that might come in handy. And now we're down to these. So I'm going to open them all up so you guys can see what they look like. This is the Dark Chocolate Soleil, Milk Chocolate Soleil, Pink Leopard, Sun Bunny, Beach Bunny, Snow Bunny, Ooh, lots of bunnies, Chocolate Gold, Sweet Tea. Let's look at all those bronzers. They're very pretty but I do not need all of them. Okay, so we have Snow Bunny, Beach Bunny, Leopard. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil, the Chocolate Soleil and the Dark Chocolate. Straight off the bat, Milk Chocolate's gonna go and Leopard. I'm not really keen on both of them. So that is those two. They're going to Better Homes. I'm torn between Snow Bunny and Beach Bunny. I wanna keep one of these. They're both kind of like shimmery, so that's why I'm interested in keeping both of them or one of them. So which one do you guys think I should hang on to? I'm kind of more drawn to Beach Bunny, but Snow Bunny has that kind of like gold undertone to it. So you guys let me know which one you think would be nicer. And then I'm obviously keeping my Chocolate Soleil and then the Dark Chocolate, because I use them all the time. This is the Chocolate Gold, much loved. Can't stress how much I actually really like this one. I'm actually gonna swatch Beach Bunny and Snow Bunny beside that one just because it is quite like similar or in the same lines. So this is Snow Bunny, Beach Bunny, and then the gold one. But I also have this one which is called Sun Bunny. So this is Beach Bunny and this is Sun Bunny. Are they not identical? I prefer this one to Sun Bunny. So I'm gonna get rid of Sun Bunny and keep Beach Bunny. I'll leave it down to Sweet Tea. I'll be hanging on to this. I know how I feel about it. I love it. I've worn it a ton of times. It's absolutely gorgeous. One of my favourite bronzers. It's just like a... Uh, I don't know. It's a really cool undertone to it. It's so pretty on the cheeks. I love this. I love the glow from it. It's just a beautiful bronzer. I'll be hanging on to that one. So before I move on to my palettes, I'm just gonna talk about these three products here. I have an Inglot Stick Bronzer, the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick, and then the Hoola Do The Hoola. I have no idea about these two products, but this one I think is well expired. <laughs> Looks like that. It's a really dark shade. Oh God, it's very expired. Like to see how difficult that was even to 
move and it smells like plastic so goodbye this quickie contour stick i don't think i've ever even used it like look it's like almost brand new so i'm just gonna oh my god that's so pretty and it's really smooth oh my god keeping this and keeping that that is so pretty that's like right up my alley when it comes to a cream contour it's absolutely gorgeous look at that red mark on my hand i don't know if that's from me rubbing stuff off or from that um Inglot product that's clearly gone off. This is gorgeous and it does not smell gone off. It looks lovely. Do the hula. I'm presuming it's like a liquid bronzer. Is it for an all over the face bronzer maybe? I'm not really sure. I don't know what that is for. Is it just an instant bit of tan maybe? I don't know. If anybody has the do the hula, how do you use it? What do you use it for? It's nice. I'm gonna hang on to it until I get your feedback from it or what you guys use it for. It smells lovely, actually. It's like a coconut scent. There's just something really refreshing about it. It smells like a beach. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know what I do with this. Right, so we're on to palette. Down to the last few bits. I have a sleek palette here. Cream contour palette. I am not even going to hazard, hazard a guess as to how old this is. So instead, I'm just going to bin it. I'm not even going to swatch it. I can even tell by the way that the product looks like this. And there's, you can kind of see like water droplets and stuff on it. So... No, I'm just going to get rid of that. I have two e.l.f. products. I have no idea what these are. One is a foundation palette and one is a bronzing palette. Ooh, so the bronzing palette looks like this on the inside. Really nice shades in there, actually. It's been a hot minute since I've used anything e.l.f. related. Okay, so there's three of the bronzers from that palette. They're actually quite nice, particularly this one here which is that one there it's quite nice but um yeah i might hang on to that one because it's just like a nice little quad and you know there's not nothing really to it it's just nice bronzing shades another cream bronzing product again it's been down in my storage unit for a long time it's cream i'll just give it a quick smell it doesn't smell bad but i just i hate keeping cream products like that for so long so i just think it's time for it to go. Shade and Light palette. I love this palette. I've loved this for so long. I still love it to this day. I use it all the time. It's gorgeous. We'll be hanging on to this for certain. Their shades are fantastic. They're phenomenal. They perform so well. They're creamy. They're buttery. They're just everything. Love this palette. I have a little lone makeup geek palette with four little shades in it. They're so pretty. Actually, they're, they're really nice. I'm gonna hang on to that little palette. This is a Freedom palette. It's a pro blush palette. It was in my bronzer drawer, so yeah, there's like bronzers and highlights and stuff in it. And I don't really want something like this. I have enough kind of products like this, so it's pretty, it looks gorgeous. I'm sure it's really nice in the skin, but I need to donate and get rid of things. Oh, my contour from Essence. I've had this probably about a year and I dip into it quite a lot. It's a lovely little bronzing highlighting palette. It's so nice that like you can use some of these shades underneath the eye. It blends really well. It's very, very, very pretty. There's some of the shades. They're really creamy. They apply so easily and they're just gorgeous shades can't recommend that palette enough this is another palette i know i'm going to be keeping because i use this all the time like i used this yesterday i use this like at the weekend i use this all the time it's one of my favorite 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 palettes it's the park avenue princess palette from tarte it smells like vanilla or chocolate i'm not sure a lot of people differ in what it smells like it has two of the most gorgeous bronzing shades in the middle that are matte and then two really, really, really pretty glittery, well, they're not really glittery. They kind of have like a, a glow to them, bronzers. And then they have two under the eye highlight, pa highlight shades. So I'm just going to swatch them for you. So there they are there. They're just gorgeous bronzers. It's such a pretty palette. I love it. It has a cool undertone bronzer. It has a warmer undertone. Then it kind of has something with a little bit of shimmer in it and then kind of a little bit more shimmer in it I guess but they're so pretty on the skin it's such a greatly formulated palette it's so my Inglot palette again much loved I still use this quite a lot so I'll be hanging on to that I think you've seen me use this a million times in tutorials before I mean like I've hit pan on some of the shades really like that I'm gonna hang on to it for now next up I know I use this a lot as well this is from Revolution it is their bronzing palette. This costs like next to nothing. I think this was only like four euro or something. It's really inexpensive and the shades in it are really pretty. The quality of those bronzers is really good as well. They're more of like a contour bronzer 
then just like something to bronze up the skin they're more for like I would say contouring the face so I love them I'm gonna hang on to them and the second last thing I have here is the highlight and contour from the balm and this is what it looks like on the inside so you've got a blush two blushes sorry two bronzers um and these like highlight highlighters and then products for underneath the eye for setting underneath the eye I haven't dipped into this very much like you can see that the bronzers are almost unused I, I just I don't use it that often the bronzers are really nice in it but again I haven't picked that palette up in so long so I will be donating this and then finally we have a little cream contour palette that I still use to this day from NYX I got this maybe two three years ago and I love it so much it is a cream contour palette so it's for cream bronzing basically I just love the shades in it they're just so easy to work with they blend out really great in the skin. God, I'm doing an absolute shambles of that swatch. Those cream products are just so good. They blend so well in the skin. They're really easy to manage. I just love them. They blend out really, really well and they never leave streaks or anything like that. I absolutely love this palette. That is the final thing I'm gonna be keeping. I'm also gonna donate this as well after further inspection, the Makeup Geek one, just cause I want to donate. I don't need any more. I just have to be cutthroat here. So this is what I'm keeping. I have everything fitting into this tray really, really well. This was not like this before I started. I couldn't fit everything into it. And then obviously you've seen my palettes. I've just kept six of them, which I'm kind of glad because I got rid of an awful lot. So there is so many things I got rid of and I'm just so happy everything fits so compactly into that storage container now. I just, it, it makes me feel happy. And these are all the bronzers I'm getting rid of. So it might not look like a lot to you because honestly, this was, very difficult for me to declutter because I love my bronzers so 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 much like I'm obsessed with my bronzers they're my favorite thing in my makeup collection as well as foundations those two things are just the things I struggle the most with I'm more cutthroat with like palettes eyeshadow palettes and stuff so I'm just really happy that I was managed or I managed to get rid of all of these gonna go through what is really truly and well expired like this for instance and I'm gonna put it into this benefit bag because that's all for the bin it's all makeup that I'm binning and then sort through stuff that maybe Jenna might want because she has a little bit of a deeper skin tone and then what some of my cousins might want because they're fairer and I'll kind of do it like that and then I'm if there's anything that Ollie wants or any of my other family members obviously I, I explained this earlier but I can't donate any of these things because I've used everything I stuck my finger in everything so I'm just going to sanitize all these things put them to one side and give them away to my family and friends from what it was I'm actually super proud of thank myself thank you so much guys for watching my declutter of my bronzers I hope you found this interesting and like I did say earlier on in the video it is a work in progress I do try and be cutthroat but sometimes I'm like oh if I get rid of that I'll regret it I hope I inspired you guys possibly to declutter some of the bronzers in your life or some of the makeup products in your life and I would love to hear what declutters you would like to see next I love you guys and I will talk to you all very soon Mwah.